get gold this time. What? You gotta do that in front of the camera. No. It's not funny if you can't see you. No. I didn't do anything. Are you ready? This needs to be out of the way too. <laughs> it's a little inconvenient for me. I haven't been very good at documenting this so far, but uh, tried to get a little bit here. So I've been working on the past two days, getting the uh, the very last plank down um, on the chine with the uh, um, miter joint cut in here. And uh, it's been pretty tough going by myself because it's a 20 foot long plank that I'm working with. So haven't re really been able to set up the camera and stuff while messing around with it, but try to get a couple details here. So the bottom and the top are going to overlap with a miter joint. So the chine comes in like that, and then this is cut down at that angle so that the bottom plank can be cut at an angle so it makes a seam right here kind of diagonally up and then I'll carve a cut a little caulking seam into the edge of the bottom plank so we'll caulk it so there's right there. two planks on the the two last runs above the chine plank are uh, they don't quite run the full length of the boat um, you know because there's not enough room for them so what they do is they just uh, taper off and they're notch unfortunately there's a clamp right in the way so it's hard to see but this plank right here it's cut off right there and so this plank that's all one one solid plank and uh, there'll be a butt block behind here because um, the chine runs all right here so it can just be fastened directly into the chine so there's the last piece right here of regular planking and then this chine piece will go right here to hang over the chine, kind of notch in. And it's a 20 foot piece, so it'll probably go uh, to about somewhere around here, maybe. And, uh, and then we've got two more short pieces all notch in there. And, uh, and then it will have a little overhang there from the chine where I'll have a what Garrett was explaining, the miter's joint for the bottom planking to sit into it that way. So here's a look at the unfinished uh, rabbit section on the other side. So what I do to start here are my three patterns and guides and whatnot for cutting that long uh, 20 foot bow plank on the starboard side. So this right here is just simple basic diagram show me you know I need the back part of the plank left wide and the whole forward section is the thinner piece tells me the length from the rabbit and the stem to that butt joint so it tells me that is 15 feet 3 inches and 9 sixteenths that length then I get the width of this, which is the width of that butt joint, from directly from this, which is the overhang that I cut off of that plank. So I'll just put that on and just trace the width out of that, and that'll give me that. And then the taper for the um, bow uh, that slides into the rabbit, I cut a little block that's supposed to replicate um, the front end of the plank and uh, I get my bevel on the bottom and my bevel along this side to made up against the stem and I just take that piece and I trim it down until 
it slides in nicely how it's supposed to. And uh, so yeah, that's a nice fit. So I take that and then I just transfer all those bevels and angles onto the front end of the new plank. And that's the only part that really has to be shaped before the plank goes up because it's got to slide into the rabbit. Um, but the rest of the plank can just be left overhanging and then uh, it, it'll overhang the whole length of the chine. <laughs> Well, they say even professionals make mistakes. So, if that be the case, then I guess amateurs make a lot of them. Um, and I made a pretty big one. But I think I can fix it. We'll see. So, I'm installing the last plank on the starboard side. And this is supposed to hang down by at least like three quarters of an inch and it does for most of it but uh somehow somewhere i missed a measurement and it's sitting just shy by about an eighth of an inch up here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pull it down because the rest of it looks really good the rest of the fit is awesome so i'm gonna pull it down and i'm gonna take an off cut piece of the fur that i've been using just a scrap piece and i'm actually gonna epoxy glue it along the bottom edge and uh yeah give me the extra length i need for the miter so we'll see how it works. There's no way I was gonna waste a 20 foot piece of clear old growth fur. We're gonna finish the top side planking swab. It's gonna happen. You excited? We're gonna do it. You excited? Let's go, let's go do it. Yeah, yeah. In the boat shed, where are you going? Come on. <laughs> All right, we're ready. Can you handle it? I can handle it. Well, now I can't. <laughs> now you can't handle it. <laughs> you got it. Hey. getting warm. How's it looking? Beautiful. Don't do too much. That's one tight fit seam you got there. <laughs> Can't even like 
fit my fingernail in there. Your clamps aren't even all over. No. Black you only have three vertical clamps up. So do you use any sort of tool after we get it all kind of like roughly in here to figure out what you need to trim down? Or do you just kind of take a pencil? All I do is take a pencil and just run it along uh, oh, okay. the chine down here. Uh -huh. And yeah, it just gives me my line. And then I know that the chine is at about a 17 degree uh, angle. So I just set the bevel on my skill saw to 17 degrees. Just zip it out on that line. So we're calling it flat 17 now instead of 16.86? Well, <laughs> it's probably about 16.865. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we'll call it 17. <laughs> the line here that marks when the plank is kind of bent up into position. That means I have to cut, um, you know, a curve, a curve uh, line into this plank with a bevel in it. And the easiest way is with the skill saw. And uh, so just take the bevel with the T-bevel and uh, you know, it's about 17 degrees. So fortunately this saw is really accurate with the little bevel gauge. So you just set that to 17 degrees. And um, the important thing for sawing curves um, with a skill saw is that you set the depth of the blade so that it barely clears the thickness. Actually this, it could even be set a little shallower than this. Um, but the important thing is you want it to just barely clear the thickness of the wood. That allows you to curve um, the blade a lot easier as you're turning without kind of tearing up uh, behind it. So yeah, nice, nice little thing to know because I didn't know it for a little while, but it makes life a lot easier. What I usually do because I'm a little, uh, what's the word? Anal? Yeah, or... <laughs> Precise? OCD? Persnickety. <laughs> um, I always cut a little test. Just to make sure I'm exactly on So, yeah, that looks good. Yeah, it looks real nice. The next important thing is making sure it's off on the right side, which is not this side. Up to the air. Okay. <laughs> oh. oh, you moved! I didn't know you were trying to get it yet. I'm gonna have oh, I feel it. dreadlocks. Tar. Ow! <laughs> oh no, this is back. Ow! <laughs> oh dang. <laughs> <laughs> might be a lost cause.
Stop my leg. <laughs> You're like twirling it up like spaghetti. I know. Ow. I know. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so gross. <laughs> Oh, you can just feel it peeling off my hair. Yeah, at least get... Oh. Oh. Wow, it's better. <laughs> Alright. Well, I'll deal with that later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But now my hands covered in tar, so you're gonna have to stop it. <laughs> But uh, Garrett is desperately trying to finish the very last chine plank piece for the starboard side, which would, if he gets it done, it's already super dark, but if he gets it done, that means the top sides are completely finished today. Um, so I understand why he's still out there working away. That is Garrett out there, if you can tell. He's uh, just trying real hard to bang out this last piece uh, to totally finish off the top sides. Now working under a headlamp, refusing to leave it till tomorrow morning. <laughs> I think he's gonna run out of any little bit of light to work here to get it up but I think he just really wants to get it all prepped inside working on the next video I want to show off the last chine plank there voila I have made both <laughs> <laughs> It's like exact, exactly on the mark. Yeah, it meets up really nice way. with the chine. I can't believe that it came out that good. I got really lucky. I think you're getting good at boat building. <laughs> I think halfway through the build you got good. Either that or <laughs> I like reading uh, Garrett's notes to himself on the boat. I'll show you one. It's a... Uh... <laughs> so just, just a reminder, this needs to be down-ish. Very precise, okay? That's a, that's a nautical term. Very technical, master shipwright way of measurement. And terminology. Yes. All right, down-ish. 